to the company secretary, uh, Ministry of Energy and Petroleum, and uh, Mr. David Chelsea, Principal Secretary, Ministry of Energy, Mr. General uh, Retired, Dr. Godon Kiarango, the ESCO team present, Katao leadership present, the region the present, all employees of KPLC, good morning. It is a great privilege and honor to get visitation from the top leadership of the ministry to come and have an engagement with us. We really appreciate them taking their time off besides their busy schedules to come and be with us. Can we clap for them? Thank you very much, Panasias, for giving us the entire morning to come and be with us. We appreciate the support that you have given us so far and honoring us with this visit. We also want to appreciate the peers for the support that he has given to us for the time that he has been in office uh, in helping us to implement the strategy of KPLC. And the team, this is which is seated before you want to see us, this is the team in Stima Plaza and also uh, we have representation from Nairobi region. We also have the regional managers from across our eight counties, our eight regions, and I want to request them to stand up so that uh, I can do some brief in in introduction for them. Uh, when I mention your name, you lift up your hand. We have Engineer Kibias, who is the regional manager, North Rift. We have Engineer Dendero, Ezra, who is the regional manager, Northeastern. Northeastern covers Kiambu and the Northeastern province as we know it. Then we have Engineer Phineas Marete, regional manager, Mount Kenya. We also have uh, Engineer David Siengo, the regional manager in charge of Central Rift. We also have Engineer Dan Obiero, the regional manager, South Nyanza. Then we have Engineer Sara, who is the regional manager in charge of West Kenya. We have Engineer Ikswaswa, regional manager in charge of Costs. Then we have Engineer Banabas Muli, who is the acting regional manager, Nairobi region, standing in for Engineer Herio Mutegi. Can we clap for them as you sit? Uh, we also have the county business managers in charge of Nairobi and they are present, present with us. I can also honor them by introducing them. We have, uh, we have uh, Kennedy Kariuki in charge of Nairobi West. Barnabas Muli is in charge of Nairobi South, which covers the industrial area. Then we have uh, our host, who is Engineer Teresia Wancha in charge of Nairobi North. Then uh, there's another gentleman standing. Let me own up. I need to be told his name. I'm told he's called Julius. Thank you very much. Oh, then we have a uh, county business manager in charge of Machakos County, uh, Engineer Morris Oduo. Then we have Mark Irungu in charge of Makweni. Nairobi region covers Machakos, Makweni, Kajado, and then uh, the big Nairobi region. Uh, Nairobi covers, uh, Nairobi uh, takes care of about 50% uh, of our business, and therefore it is very critical to us. And uh, we appreciate the work that uh, these ladies and gentlemen have continued to, to do. Once again, uh, Wana PS, we appreciate your coming and uh, you've been able to share with the management team. And in this sitting, we expect you to talk to us. And besides this team, which is seated here, all the regions are following this event via Zoom. And even the 47 counties 
are also tuned in so that uh, they can be able to follow the deliberations in this meeting. The purpose of ensuring that we have, we are in touch with the entire business is so that uh, the message is received together by all of us because we have a lot of work to do. As KPLC, we appreciate the role that we play in the sector. Uh, we play a very important role, play, uh, you know, borrowing from you. And we have identified as a business some areas where we must win. One area where we have been doing badly as a business is in the area of uh, system efficiency. And uh, we are currently at uh, 22.58. It's a small improvement from where we were in the last financial year. But this team here, myself and this team and the entire ESCOM, we are committed to ensuring that we reduce our losses further so that this business this business can be able to, 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 to come up and survive. One thing we, we have agreed as a team, if we don't reduce our losses, we start to sink. And when KPLC is doing well, majority of the people seated here when I see us, have not any other source of livelihood. Their survival depends on KPNC. And therefore, the area of losses is a must win area for all the employees of KPNC. I always tell my employees, even this suit I'm wearing, it has come from my salary from KPNC. And therefore, uh, uh, we have no choice, ladies and gentlemen, but to make to reduce our losses. We have also identified growing ourselves as an opportunity for us. In the last financial year, we were able to grow ourselves by 6.9% through ensuring that we reduce the outages, we read the meters properly, and we connect the, the, the new customers promptly. We are targeting to reduce our losses by 8%, ourselves and this team here. And again, this is another must-win area. We have no choice but to make it win because KPLC is our mother. We rely on KPLC for almost everything. Medication, our children, our families. I have, sometimes I crack a joke and say even some of the love in our homes is sustained by what we get from KPLC. Uh, the other area is we still have a lot of money out there. We have also identified uh, improving revenue collection as one of our areas where we must win. I want to appreciate the team when I see us because in the last financial year we were able to reduce our debt by 1.6 billion and we are targeting to reduce uh, uh, this uh, debt by a further uh, 2 billion this financial year. Uh, in the area of managing costs we our take is we will spend where we must spend. And we are not going to spend for the sake of spending. We need value for money. And last financial year, we were able to reduce our expenses by 1.84 billion. And we, this year, we are focusing on prudent expenditure. And that's why we are calling it uh, 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 cost management. We, are also, we have also decided to serve our customers better because uh, our customers are our king. All the money that we post on, all the billions that we collect, they come from our customers and therefore we are, we are paying special attention to our customers. We have a fully placed customer experience team across all the counties whose work is to be the advocate of the customer and to ensure that uh, our customers are served well. In the last year, we were able to improve our net promoter score by 38%. And uh, we are working to keep, to keep the same trajectory of improving our customer satisfaction index and the net promoter score. Looking ahead in our business, we, we intend to keep on reinforcing our network to ensure that it's robust to be able to support industries. There is a lot of movement, and uh, there is a lot of challenge of, uh, of, uh, of uh, people generating their own power. But what we have decided to do is to ensure that uh, we give 
our industrial customers quality supply that as much as possible that as much as possible they will not think of leaving us or going to to to, to other sources of energy uh, even as in the long run, as we grow sales and as we reduce our losses, as the cost of power comes down. But in the short run, we have paid special focus to the industrial areas to ensure that uh, the quality of supply is good. Uh, we, we are also uh, supporting to grow our sales. We, we are paying a lot of attention to e-mobility in supporting that space. We need to be in that conversation uh, because uh, looking at our at the peak demand at the demand in, 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 during OPIC, we are talking of one one thousand one hundred megawatt hours, meaning that we still have a lot of idle capacity at night that we can uh, we can exploit uh, using e mobility. We 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 are also supporting uh, e cooking, so that uh, we can also encourage customers to know. It is cheaper to cook with electricity than to cook with another source of energy. Uh, I, I, uh, when I see us, I looked at, a, I've been following a report which is done by Kerea, who are the Kenya Renewable Energy Association. And according to their report, electricity, cooking with electricity is cheaper than any other source of energy. And this is information that is not very common. And and that, that is when they talk of conventional cooking with electricity. But when we go, now go to the energy saving uh, ways of cooking, that is induction cookers, and uh, the, the other electric, electric pressure cookers, the other electric cooker, it is even much cheaper. We are selling these uh, gadgets to our employees, and we have encouraged customers to, to, to uptake um, this, uh, the, the, the area of, uh, of, of cooking with electricity. We are also uh, paying a lot of attention to, 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 to data processing centers because we have realized this is an opportunity. If we could get the Amazons and uh, everybody coming to set up their data center here because our power is green, is going to be you know, a plus for us. We are, we, have, we are also in the fiber business, uh, when I see us, and we have 7,000 kilometers of fiber, and we have 25 uh, dark fiber customers. We are in 44 counties, and uh, now we want to move to start now selling the bandwidth to customers. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, this is an opportunity for us to have alternative sources of, uh, of, of power. Still in the area of fiber, we are supporting uh, a number of countries in East Africa. We are supporting Tanzania, we are supporting Uganda, Rwanda, Ethiopia, and Democratic Republic of Congo. And uh, we believe fiber is another opportunity for KPLC to generate alternative uh, revenue. We, we, we have also worked together with the government to connect CONSA and uh, connect, we are connecting, we are offering ourselves to connect the county governments and, uh, and, and uh, government institutions. We also have uh, the, our, our school, which is uh, ESR, and we want to make this a utility, to create it and make it a utility of the future so, we, we, so that uh, it can be able to serve not only the country and the sector, and also serve the region. We are also looking at emerging opportunities for, 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 for the school, so that uh, its consultant wing can also be able to serve the, the, the continent and other areas. We have uh, in, in the past served uh, some countries like Liberia through consultancy. We have been to Afghanistan, we have been to different uh, countries which were having challenges contracted by, uh, by Mantoba Hydros and Tetratech, and we believe this is a space we can be able to occupy because the competence that is here and the expertise that is here is needed in, in, in the continent and beyond. Thank you, CS, for on, honoring KPLC with this uh, visit. And I want to reiterate that uh, we are ready to support you and support the government in its uh, development agenda. And uh, we are going to, we commit to ensure that we turn around KPLC 
in reduction of the losses, we, we, also, we are also going to work together with you to provide affordable power and reliable power to, to, to Kenya so that we can make our country competitive and attract more uh, investors. Again, we commit to support the government's commitment. We were excited when we had uh, the commitment from the government that currently the contribution of the manufacturing is, uh, is 7% to the GDP. And there is commitment to the government to grow it to 20% by the year 2030. To us, KPLC, this is an opportunity and we we'll work together with the government to ensure that uh, we participate in supporting manufacturing so that uh, we can be able to, to, to grow our economy. I once again thank you very much for your time. I want to take this opportunity now to welcome the BS. Acting MD, KPLC, ESCO, Senior Management, the staff of KPLC. So really mine is to basically welcome you because the entire KPLC is waiting to hear words from you so that uh, they are able to move this institution to higher levels. I have been in the ministry for close to a year, a month, and I can comfortably say this is a very credible institution. It has got highly trained professionals. But there are basically a few things that are posing challenge of which they have been told, they have been articulated many times. So they actually know the areas where they are ailing. And the best thing is for them to have the discipline of execution because the strategy is there, the personnel are there. It is through the right governance that they will be able to really address the challenges that are really confronting this institution. So really without much ado, sir, as you are aware, I think once the issue of uh, the vetting of the PSS is done, then that will basically mark the end of my tour of duty. So it was really a pleasure working for the Minister of Energy and of course the cooperation I've been getting from KPLC. KPLC is basically the mother of the entire ministry, so it holds its position at the right place. So, sir, it is my singular honor and respect to request you to come and address the gathering. Thank you.